Hey y'all. All right, we're going to start talking about A, B, and C stories. Or sometimes you'll hear this referred to as physical journeys, emotional journeys, spiritual journeys. Either way, it basically boils down to the idea that you're going to have multiple story threads running through your script. We're going to talk about A today and then go to B and C in subsequent videos, all right? So your A story is going to be your main physical goal of the protagonist. This is going to be stopping the bomb, completing the rescue, fighting the treasure. Whatever that goal of the protagonist is, that's going to be your A story. It's going to be the widest ranging effect on the most amount of people. And it's going to have the biggest impact as far as the plot going forward. Now, in the case of rom-coms and love stories, the pursuit of the other person becomes your A story for those types of films. But for most stories, the physical action, the main goal of the protagonist, that's your A story. All right? Tune to next time for B and C. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. All right, we're going to continue talking about the B and the C stories, okay? So the B story, this is your emotional goal. This is usually where the personal relationships of the protagonist come into play. So this is usually where you see your love interests, uh, close friends, companions, allies of the hero are usually influenced by this B storyline. It's a closer-knit group of people rather than the external goals of the A story, okay? The C story is usually your spiritual or some kind of mental goal, and this is usually some sort of flaw that's in the protagonist's thinking. Something that they have to fix mentally in order to accomplish their goals. And again, if you want a maximum impact on your climax, you want to design it so that the solution of your C and B goals will be the only way that your protagonist can accomplish their A goal. And the closer you can get all three of those to resolve at the same time, the more impactful the climax, all right? So keep writing, have fun. Hey, y'all. All right, we're going to continue talking about A, B, and C stories, but in the context of television. Now, on television, sometimes the term A, B, and C story will be used in reference to different story threads that are going in through a particular episode. For instance, if we take an example with Modern Family, you might have a story which starts out with a Jay and Gloria-based story. That's your A story. Cam and Mitch's story and Claire and Phil's story will be the B and C story. So as you're going through the script, you're going to spend the most time with Jay and Gloria as the stakes rise to the climax. And then along the same lines, but less time spent with Cam and Mitch going along that same path. And Claire and Phil also going along the same path. And you all want them to hit that climax at the same time with the B and C story influencing how the A story is decided. So that's how that might be used in the context of television.